Yeah, so. from yeah, from when we. Uh... So you did end up eating that donut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that donut, and then eats it anyway. What are we doing today, Chase? We are we are gonna start a fire. Oh man, we're more professional than we look, folks. So, we're out here in the Pawnee Township, sure. not Wilmer, not in Wilmer territory. We're gonna light some fires today, burn some native grass. We are in a fire weather watch starting tomorrow, but we have a small window to get some burning done here at the Mace Ranch, and then Saturday we're gonna burn down at Pheasant Run Ranch if uh, the wind and weather cooperates. So here we go. It's gonna rip it through all the cedars. They are going to go up in flames, which is good. That's we don't want to have these anymore. new burn unit now this is unit two what we're calling unit two it doesn't unit two doesn't mean anything special hard to tell down here but the native grass is pretty tall up in there you can barely see these little cedars out here um this fire is going to take care of them even if you can see these ones in the black layer and you think to yourself well it's not burn up uh in a couple weeks while everything greens up they'll be orange and they will most definitely be dead uh, the grass is pretty short down here along the creek, um, so it's taken us a while to get a pretty good black layer. The wind is starting to pick up. Conditions have changed a lot since this morning uh, when we first started burning. So the fire's a little hotter, moving a little faster, so therefore we have to take our time a little better. We do not want to get it down in this creek because then we'll be all night mopping up all those logs that are turned over and everything. It'll be, it'll be a long night. Uh, of logs smoldering that we had to go dump in the creek or tip over and things like that so that's what we're doing we're taking our sweet time down here letting her burn up real nice
go. You really can't put out a fire with this anyways. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we lit our test fire here. We burned out this little brome waterway just as a test, make sure our fire was good. Now we're gonna go lay a wet line here. Oh, with the uh, big tank. So we can burn that hillside up there with all the cedars and stuff. So here we go. Burning the knoll. Some of you guys that have hunted with us know this farm. We got a slide in sprayer unit, a couple four wheelers. We got uh, our friend Cody's. He was luck lucky enough to, uh, he was, we were lucky enough that he let us borrow his uh, bulk tank here. It's like 1100 gallon or something. This is the big boy here. This is probably gonna be the worst, I say, burn that we have today. And by worst, I mean like the one that could get the most out of control. So what we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna let this eat. It's gonna lay a wet line out and then we'll light our fire on that side and let it carry, carry that way. Let me know if something goes wrong. Since the wind is supposed to be out of the east, the wind is supposed to be out of the east today at 10 mile an hour. It started out this morning east, northeast, east winds with like a north kick. Um, afternoon, it's supposed to be east winds with the south kick. Um, they're not big gusts, but we just made a game day decision here. When we started, it was kind of east with a south kick and they're kind of swirling. Uh, swirling sounds really bad if you do a lot of burning and uh, you say that, you think, oh my goodness, it's, it, that's being dramatic. It's really not like swirling, swirling. You can see with the smoke, it's coming straight out of the east, but every once in a while it kind of ticks to the north. So we ran a wet line down here. We were going to start, you can see the wet line on camera. We were going to start ringing it that way, but now we're going to ring it counterclockwise because if it gets out, it's got to get out through our wet line, through the alfalfa, through that waterway black layer, and then alfalfa again. So... We're going to ring this thing counterclockwise and see what happens. Well, and here's the danger, folks. If a fire gets out, I, I always say it, it's these cedars that cause problems. Now, this is a controlled burn. This is what we want. Uh, we want to make real good and sure that we don't get spot fires. We got a bean field planted back to winter wheat and uh we've got several trucks and a lot of water and uh good burning conditions had this been milo stocks or corn stocks our risk for spot fires may have may be plenty high uh but you know we're gonna take care of some of these cedars now we may not kill them all if we don't that's fine but we're definitely gonna thin some of these smaller ones out the bigger ones i'm okay to leave some of them on this particular farm because it is kind of like a windbreak.
turkeys are gobbling. What we've got here is a tornado alley. We burn all this. The reason we carry a chainsaw is to cut up a lot of this. Brandon's in there trying to kill himself. Uh, I should probably be in there helping him and not filming. But you want to cut these trees that are burning clear up in the air like this. There she goes! Hey! Oh, she's still tied up! Anyway, because with the wind blowing, those embers will just blow off of there for days. And then we cut down some of these cedars that already burn up. Some hackberries and things. That'll be some habitat for birds or rabbits or whatever. And if they burn up, they burn up. But they were still smoking clear up in the air. So. Need assistance? We have fire. Can you imagine how pumped they would have been? Like, what is this thing? safety if you cut it if you cut right toward that cedar and over I'll be happy I'll leave that I don't want all those trees to go up and have a problem Well, we just got this one all done. Now we're going around doing the old mop up on it. It's definitely getting drier. The wind is picking up. We've got one more unit we want to try. Uh, the other unit we may call off because it's just got a lot more fuel. And then uh, we'll go from there. But we're going to go around and do a cleanup job here. Pretty, pretty nice burn. Well, guys, uh, we're picking up here on the next day because I uh, set the camera on time lapse and then kind of forgot about it. So here we are. We're gonna get some drone shit, uh, drone footage of some of this burned area, and we're gonna put some water on some stumps that are still smoldering. Smoldering. Man, I cannot talk today. Uh, burning always takes a lot out of a guy because. You're using not only your physical strength, but your mental strength, like, all day long. Like, making sure you're being safe and how you're going to burn things and everything. So, uh, just kind of a slow Sunday morning here, just kind of taking it easy and uh, driving around and kind of babysitting some of these stumps and things that are still burning.
probably hard to see on camera, but down in there is a pretty nice brush, brush pile. We um, cleared a lot of trees back in the day with an excavator instead of using a tree saw, which in hindsight was not the best thing to do maybe. And we really wanted to burn that creek and burn several creeks and burn up some of those brush piles and a lot of those log piles. The problem is our window to burn, we've been so dry, has just not been very good. Um, so everything that we burnt the last few days um, up at my buddy's place down here has been um, primarily grass. Now up here we still have a brush pile smoldering. We came around earlier today and we poured a bunch of water on it and it's still kind of smoldering. And we threw the logs farther into the black layer so that when the wind switches, if it switches out of an undesirable direction, uh, they'll continue to just smolder and burn without burning up jumping across the road which it's winter wheat and the only thing I'd be worried about is if it got into that waterway of our neighbors there but it shouldn't most of the time when there's a brush pile like that you would you know if you've got a log here smoldering and a log there smoldering you just pile them together and go ahead and let them burn out well we spread them out and threw some logs back into the black because we didn't want a big fire we just kind of a game day decision we just kind of thought that if we spread them out they and put water on them it'd be easier to get them out because we weren't sure if we piled them up if they would burn out really quick and not be a threat to us so um, i put water on that pile earlier and come back here now and it's smoldering again which is still not bad the wind is supposed to shift from uh, east southeast to straight out of the south tomorrow and we'll be all right but it's just a good thing you check on stuff like that. People ask why burn, and there's a lot of different objectives when you burn. Uh, my buddy who we burnt for the other day, his objective is to create more cool season grass. Mine is more native grass. I Native grass, CRP type grasses. Uh, so if cool season grasses show up, I'm going to spray them out or graze them out. I, I actually do not want to promote... Uh, cool season grasses on these farms there's another farm that i do want to do that sort of thing i want to uh it's a bro meadow we burn it uh killed weeds and things obviously any things that we didn't swath any duff anything that you swathed and didn't get raked and baled so that next year when you swath rake and bale it's clean and we um we're going to come back and fertilize that so even though we burnt at the same time there's a lot of different things you can accomplish and uh, we're going to do a podcast on burning uh, with Brandon, who we, who's in pretty much all of my burning videos here. And we'll talk about burning and what, our object, uh, what we hope to accomplish with our burns.